of Brino's Brews, the show where I drink and evaluate the wonderful nectar of the gods that is beer. On this week's episode, we are combining two things that I like very, very much, as you have seen, that is beer and really, really hot stuff. Because we are reviewing from the Rivertown Brewing Company in Lockland, Ohio. This is simply known as Death. Specifically, this is a Russian Imperial Stout brewed with Jalokia peppers, a.k.a. ghost peppers. This is one of their more famous beers. It's a very limited edition beer, and I'm lucky enough to have a bottle of it right here in front of me. Let's briefly go over the scoring system used here on Brino's Brews. Scoring for Brino's Brews is based loosely on the scoring system used by the Beer Judge Certification Program. In our system, a beer can earn a maximum of 10 points. One point can be awarded for appearance, two points for aroma, four points for flavor, one point for mouthfeel, and two points can be awarded for a beer's overall impression. And finally, partial points can be awarded in any category. So that's how scoring works. Now it's time to crack this bomber open and see how it stacks up. So here we go. Pop this top here. That's, wait, I didn't hear a whole lot of uh, carbonation coming up. That's a little concerning. I don't remember touching this bottle before. Let's get the one point for appearance. See how it looks. Uh, this is very, very concerning. A lot of glug, but not a lot ahead. This is highly, highly concerning. I bought a second bottle of this when I bought this one. And as you can see here, no head at all. That did not happen with the other bottle that I bought. I see a tiny, tiny bit of carbonation at the top. I don't know if this is just a poorly capped bottle. Let's take a look at it under the light. It's nice and dark. But there's almost no head to speak of, and I can't see any, almost nothing that says that it's carbonated. Out of one possible point for appearance, I'm only going to give it a half a point. There's no head, no carbonation to speak of. I think that's going to hurt the beer later on. So now let's go for the two points for the aroma. Again, a lack of head might hurt that in this department, but let's give it a shot. It does smell like a proper stout. That's all I can say. I'm not... I definitely smell the maltiness of it. Not a whole lot of roastiness, which you would expect from some kind of stout. But it doesn't smell bad at all. It smells appropriate. Like I said, this though, but the lack of a head, though, just... It really hinders the aroma. It just... It doesn't give me a whole lot to smell. Okay, that, that smell was a little bit better. Got more of the maltiness. So I'm going to give it some high marks, very, very high marks in that regard. Out of two points, I think just I think if there was more head in this, I'd get much more of that aroma. But out of two points, I think I'm going to give this one and a half points. And now it's time for the big one, the four points for taste. Here we go, four points for flavor, for death. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Very, very good. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I got a tiny, I'm getting some, I'm getting more of a burn. It's not the intense burn that you would get from a pure ghost pepper product, but the burn is very, very, very respectable. I'd say this burn is kind of equivalent to that of if you had like a habanero hot sauce, maybe a little bit less than that. You're definitely getting the burn from this though. I'm getting a good amount of maltiness. I'm not getting a lot of the roastiness. I'm definitely getting the heat from the Jalokia peppers. It's a nice experience. One more sip. It tastes good, but I'm maybe the ghost pepper, the, the peppers are the heat from that is kind of overshadowing everything else. Because I'm not getting too much of the good maltiness that you would expect from a stout. I get a burn from the ghost pepper but I'm not getting a whole lot of anything else. Again, I'm going to be liberal with the partial points. I feel guilty giving it threes. 
So you know what, I'm just going to give it 2.9 points out of 4 for flavor. So now let's go for 1.4 the mouthfeel. I don't have high hopes for this given the faulty cap and such, so anyway, here we go. Obviously the lack of carbonation is really, really giving this a bad score for mouth. And again, as far as body is concerned, again, it's the part where the ghost pepper is kind of overstating anything else that anything I'm trying to get from this except for the lack of carbonation. But the lack of carbonation in this one bottle here, and I'm pretty sure it's just this one bottle, I gotta give it a, a low score for that one, so I'm not getting much of the body else as well. I think for mouthfeel I'm only gonna give this a half a point out of a possible one. And lastly, two points for the overall impression of the beer. I don't know if I should take more points, take points away from this category because I feel like this is maybe a faulty bottle, maybe just it wasn't capped properly or just a lot of the carbonation escaped from it somehow. But I had higher hopes for this one. The lack of carbonation in this beer really, really hurt it. But I expect something. I mean, look at this. It's flat. Look, look at this. As I got some... Ah, crap! But see, look at that. There's nothing there, nothing on the table, nothing on my scorecard, no carbonation at all in the beer. That's not supposed to happen. This beer deserves a better score, but I gotta go by what I gotta go by here. So overall impression, I like it that it's hot. I like a good pepper beer, but just the lack of carbonation, I gotta take some points away. For the overall impression, I'm gonna give this one and a quarter point out of two. After tallying up the final scores, this beer, out of a possible ten points, gets, I hate to say this, 6.65 points out of ten. Is this beer overrated or underrated based on that score? I think it's underrated. I think if the beer in this bottle was carbonated properly, it would have gotten a higher score. I would not object to revisiting this beer sometime in the future. Well, that will do it for another edition of Brino's Brews here on Brino's World. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.